Hey everyone, so uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to multiply rational expressions. So uh, as you can see I have two rational expressions that I'm, that I'm multiplying in this case. So the first step that we're going to we're going to take here is we're going to have to factor everything. Okay, so factor the numerators of both rational expressions, factor the denominators of both rational expressions. Okay, so let's uh, let's start with that. So I'm going to be factoring x squared plus 4x plus 3 first, and that's going to factor into x plus 1 times x plus 3. And then I factor the, the denominator, so x squared plus 6x plus 8 is going to factor into x plus 2 times x plus 4. Okay, and again, you can double check these, right? All right, so uh, now I'm going to have my multiplication symbol, and let's see, I'm going to factor the top there, so x squared plus 5x plus 6 factors into x plus 2 times x plus 3, and that's going to be over x plus 1 times x plus 4. Okay, so now that everything has been factored, okay, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to multiply these expressions by bringing them all together into one very large fraction. So remember that when typically when you're multiplying fractions, you multiply the tops of the fractions, the numerators, and then you multiply the, the bottoms of the fractions, the denominators. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing here, and uh, it's going to give us one giant fraction. So I want you to notice that uh, in the numerators, we have x plus 1, right, right here, Okay, we have x plus 2 right here, and then we have a common factor of x plus 3 here and here. Now, because we're multiplying those together and we have two x plus 3 factors, all right, that means that we're going to be putting those to the power of 2. And you're going to notice that on the bottom, if you look at the, the denominators, right, you're, we're going to have two x plus 4 factors when we bring them together. So what that means is that we're going to write this as x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 squared for the denominator, because again, there are two x plus 3 factors. And on the bottom, we, since we have two x plus 4 factors, we're going to have uh, x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 4 squared. Okay, so now that we brought this together into one big rational expression, uh, now we're going to look for common factors to cancel. So I want you to notice that I have a common factor of x plus 1 in uh, the denominator and the numerator, so that's going to cancel. I also have a common factor of x plus 2 that I can cancel, and that's going to leave me with x plus 3 squared over x plus 4 squared. So we're, we're just left with x plus 3 squared over x plus 4 squared. That's our final answer. We can't cancel anything else out. Um, so that's it. We've, we've basically multiplied these two, and we've fully simplified as much as we can. The only thing that we need to do now is state our restrictions. So for our restrictions, this time we want to make sure that uh, we are uh, looking for the restrictions of both the original uh, rational expressions. Okay, so both uh, the original, original rational expressions. So that means we need to take a look to see which, uh, which x values are going to make our denominator equal to zero in uh, one of them and the other one. So um, easiest way to do that would be to look uh, to where everything has been factored and then brought together, but before you cancel everything out. So let's take a look at this line right here. Okay, and we're going to look at the denominator. So according to our denominator, we have a problem when x is equal to negative 1, when x is equal to negative 2, and when x is equal to negative 4. That means that our restrictions are x does not equal to negative 1, negative 2, and negative 4. Okay, guys, so this is how to multiply rational expressions. Take care.